In today's lesson, we're gonna be talking about whitewashing your fruit trees, why to do it, and the value. We're also gonna be discussing whitewashing with latex paint and tar-based products compared to using the Ivy Organics whitewash and three-in-one products. Let's get started. Hi, my name is Charles Malky, biologist and plant expert with Ivory Organics, where we grow cool plants and author Saving the World with the Home Garden. And today we're at the Silmar Agricultural Center with the professor and teacher, Steve Liss, who educates gardeners and leads the education throughout the city of Los Angeles and beyond with agricultural techniques that will maximize your growing success from year to year. Thank you so very much for having me here today. Hey Charles, how are you? Good very to well. see you. What a great time of year it is, especially for your products and mainly um, your your paints, your your sunburn preventatives. And I, as you know, I'm a big advocate on painting your trees and preventing sunburn. Sunburn is the number one pest on stone fruits. And the best solution to sunburn is to prevent it. Number one, getting a good pruning, making sure you have a proper canopy to shade your trunks of the tree and also to paint them. And one of the things I wanted Charles to come out for is we wanted to talk about the pros and cons of his product compared to a water-based white paint, which most people have used over the years. I know his product has other things in it that will help, especially with like your dormant sprays and things. So he's gonna kind of touch on his product and then I'm gonna go back and forth with him and ask him some uh, questions. I'm gonna just pretend I'm a homeowner that doesn't know much and I want answers. So Charles, tell me, tell me more about your product and what, what, what does it do for the tree? So as you started off, in regards to painting your trees, the number one benefit it's gonna offer your stone-free trees is protection from damaging summer sunburn. But if you actually research whitewashing, the number one reason that also comes up for protecting whitewashing, more articles relate to this than sunburn, is winter sun scald. So winter sun scald is a phenomenon where the daytime temperatures are warm enough that the fluids in the tree begin to move, but the nighttime low temperatures are still freezing. And that results in the cracking of the bark. Even if you don't see the cracking happening, there's damage to the underlying cambium tissue and the performance of the tree come spring will be less than optimal. And sometimes the tree even dies between the daytime warm temperatures and the nighttime low freeze. And again, the roots remain typically dormant while the plant above the ground attempts to wake up in the warmer temperatures as the soil temperatures are cooler. So another benefit of whitewash, and there's so much more. Now what we've done here is we just finished pruning our stone fruits. And I like to give them a pretty heavy duty pruning in the winter, but we also do summer pruning. And then what happens with the summer pruning after they fruit, obviously you want to wait till they're completely finished fruiting. What happens if you do a little bit of summer pruning, you don't have to do as much winter pruning. But um, when, once they're done pruning, what I like to do is I like to spray a dormant spray on the trees, which in, is a, a neem oil or an oil and a copper fungicide mixed together. And what that'll do is it'll help prevent uh, diseases like shot hole fungus, peach leaf curl. It will help a little bit on the insects too. Once that's done, uh, then we want to whitewash. We want to put a paint on. And Charles has several of his varieties. And what I think is really cool with his stuff is there are also different colors. There's a brown, there's a green, and there's a white, correct? Correct. Now, what? why would I want your product? Why couldn't I just go over and get a can of white-based paint or water-based white paint at uh, one of these box stores, mix it half and half with water, and throw it on? What am I going to get with your product that I can't get over there? Excellent question. And it's actually the number one question is, why not just simply use latex paint, 50% water, and most of the research will say when it comes to whitewashing for the last only 50 to 100 years is to apply exactly that method. But the reason you wouldn't do it, and there's actually a lot of reasons, is one, it's not organic. And so for the organic gardener where you're trying to create produce, again, you're growing your own food, you're picking something that has been harvested that day and enjoying all the nutrients and getting something that's better than even the whole foods grown produce that has been sitting there for weeks. One, it's not organic. Two, the latex paint ends up also blocking. And for the research that you read on whitewashing plants using latex or tar-based products, a lot of research will say, don't do it. Nine out of 10 articles, if you actually research whitewashing with latex or tar-based products, they'll say it's more damaging 
then beneficial on your trees because it traps moisture and contributes towards underlying rot of your pruned surface areas or your grafting wounds or whatever it is that you're trying to use these products on. Ivy Organics dries on your plants porous, allowing moisture and nutrients to pass through those protected surfaces that you're trying to protect, again, from damaging summer sunburn, winter sun scald, and then the additional added benefits of the Ivory Organics 3-in-1 product, which has castor and cinnamon and clove and garlic and all of these oils, that it gets encapsulated as you brush on the product onto your tree. And that offers insect and rodent repellent protection as well as the product also has diatomaceous earth, which if there's any boring insects, especially like your peach tree, um, beetles. So over here, we've also got a dapple dandy, you know, variety um, tree. And when we zoom in onto the tree, you're gonna see the damaging summer sunburn and you're gonna see the beetles and termites that are now boring into the exposed wood. So I've already given you one is it's not organic too. It can contribute to underlying rot because again, paint and tar based products are water impermeable, contributing to rot to the underlying surface. And number three is paint is designed to last 100 years or more. And when you whitewash your tree, your tree is going to grow and it's going to slough off all of these contaminating, you know, par particles in your soil. And I have a background in real estate way back when, when I know there's been at least two instances where the lender wouldn't sell a house because there was paint flakes all around the property as well. And you don't want to be contaminating your soil with paint flakes that you're going to be adding on to your trees every year when you now have an organic alternative to offer that much benefit and more using the Ivory Organic brand products, whether it be the whitewash or the three-in-one formula. Does your product do anything for dormant disease? Instead of, let's say, if I don't want to spray my, my oil and copper fungicide, will this help prevent your peach leaf curl and shadow fungus? I, the answer is yes. And I would also incorporate the copper, for example, into the product. So what the Ivory Organic brand products does is it encapsulates. The three-in-one product encapsulates the seven natural oils. Historically, the Ivory Organics 3-in-1 had neem oil and the benefits that come with neem. You could incorporate the copper oils into it. And then when you brush it on, as you can see with a lot of trees that we've been protecting now for, this is our fourth year together here at the Silmar Ag, you can see that the Ivory Organic products last from year to year, almost as long lasting as paint. Yeah. And you can incorporate the copper to offer the benefits that the copper spray would do. And that leads me to another um, thing I want to demonstrate with you is also painting the buds on the plant as you can see that some of these buds are just about ready to pop and something that is a risk and I know a lot of my gardening friends out there have already demonstrated their fruit trees beginning to bloom but we're still dealing with freezing nighttime low temperatures we're dealing with Santa Ana winds and it's not the best time to be blooming for maximum fruit yield and what you can do and it's another benefit again you can research and there's a lot of university articles that, that you know establish the benefit of whitewashing your fruit trees to prevent premature blooming. So you can actually whitewash all of the buds on your plant to keep the branches cooler until the daytime temperatures warm up and the light hours are long enough so that it blooms at the optimal time for maximum fruit production. So another know. benefit yeah. of whitewashing. And again, something you wouldn't do with paint. You wouldn't want to get paint that much more paint into your garden. So right. um, again, another benefit of using the Ivory Organic brand product. Well, I think we've learned quite a bit. Why don't we get in here and uh, do a little bit of paint? Huh? Let's do it. But you can see how liberally I'm putting this on. And my concern when I'm whitewashing, I always want to go uh, north and northwest. That's the hottest part of your day. 99% of your, your sunburn will always occur with the sun that's pounding on those certain areas. So number one, you wanna make sure the canopy of your tree has a good shade protection of the branches. And number two, a good whitewashing is very, very important. Remember, sunburn number one disease or problem of fruit trees. What happens is once the sunburn happens, bark splits open that lets diseases and insects get in once the insects get in then all of a sudden that wood will die termites will invade and the last thing nature's way of decomposing is bracket fungus and that's that thick it looks like brackets thick kind of mushroom looking hard scale that'll break down the wood into compost so yeah, it looks good. It looks real good, Charles. I, I think we did a good job. It's too bad we don't have any students here. <laughs> They'd be able to knock this out in a couple hours. I think um, 
wasn't last year, the year before. Two years ago we did this and we had all the students and each one got to take one tree and do that. So if you've ever been here to Summer Agriculture Learning Center, you'll know that every little area has a learning uh, uh, system to it or, or something, a project for the students. This is our stone fruit section. Uh, we have everything here from a composting to vermiculture to winter vegetables. We even have an antioxidant garden, which is your jujubes, persimmons, mulberry, pomegranates. A little bit of everything here. And then please give me a call, come and see me. My YouTube is Ask Mr. List. I'm also Instagram, Ask Mr. List, and Facebook is Steve Ask List. Subscribe, check it out. Follow Charles, him and I cross paths all over the place. Most of your friends are my friends For and sure. vice versa. But yes, I really like his product. I think it's good, but it does a lot more than just your whitewash paint. So for your convenience, I'm adding the link to Ask Steve List YouTube channel, as well as his Instagram in the video comments below. Be sure to click it and subscribe. It's free to join. And don't forget to hit the push bell notification to stay informed as soon as the educational lessons are made available. As always, keep growing with Ivory Organics and wishing you all happy gardening.